Good afternoon. I'm Gary Lyons, and I'm prayer coordinator at Calvary Baptist Church, and we welcome you to this afternoon's Word of Encouragement. One of the good things that we have the privilege of as staff here at Calvary is that we can give scripture, words, and, and explain that God is so good and is willing to give us the encouragement we need at all times. And this afternoon, I would like to share out of Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. And it says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance, character, and character, hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. There's some real key points here that Paul is pointing out. First of all, we are justified by faith. God has provided every tool that we need, every aspect that we can look at, that he can provide for us. And he has provided that opportunity that we may be justified by faith in him. And secondly, the scripture here says that we have peace with God. There is no other way that we can have total peace unless we know Jesus Christ as our Savior. He gives us that peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the edification of all peace and the one that provides it for us. And then it says we have access by faith into his grace in which we stand. If we didn't have God's grace, if God wasn't gracious to us, we would have no hope. But because God's grace has been bestowed upon us, we have a hope, always a hope of all to possess for him. And we rejoice in that hope because of the glory of God. God is worthy to be praised. God is over all the world. He created the world. He sustains the world. He is ours. And that is wonderful. And we can rejoice in all ways. And with what we've been going on here recently with the tribulation of the virus, we know that that is a strange thing thing that is happening. It's a plague that has come upon our nation and not only our nation but around the world. But you know, we'll get through it. Tribulation will, even though we don't like the trials and tribulations that we sometimes face, we can get through it. Why? Because we know that tribulation produces perseverance. Perseverance is nothing more than endurance. And if we endure, if we continue, if we keep going and having faith and trust in our Lord, oh my, what can we do? God will carry us through to the very end. And that's why if we have that endurance or that perseverance, it produces character. He molds us and shapes us into the character or the being that he wants us to be. And sometimes he has to knock off some of our edges and uh, change us from the inside out that we might conform to the image that he wants, that we might be just like him. We were created in his image and he wants us to be like him. And that means that we are to be godly. We have life, and he wants us to have a good life with him. Now, we know the character 
gives us hope, and that hope is that God's promises are true. And let me say, what God has promised to us, there is no doubt, no question whatsoever, that everything that he has quoted to us, every promise that he has made, he will fulfill. Thereby we know when he fulfills these that this is the love of God that is in our hearts that comes by the Holy Spirit. He provided the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, our encourager, the director of our lives, the one that uh, is able to sustain us through these trials and tribulations that we're facing. We have so much to be thankful for and that produces a joyful hope in our hearts for the future. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the privilege that we have of coming to you, knowing that we have a hope in you. We can rejoice in that hope. You have provided the tools that we need. You have given us your word and we trust you fully. And Lord, as we go through these difficult days, we pray that we might sense that ray of hope, the encouragement that we need, the trust that we need to have in you, because Lord, there will be an end. And Lord, we're thankful for what that end will be. We will gain strength, we will gain power. We know that you are the power that produces all things in this world. And we just commit it all to you. And we thank you for that. We ask your blessing upon each and every one. And Lord, whatever they need, we pray you will provide and we'll give you the praise and the honor and the glory. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.